Known for its tall mountains and narrow valleys, this is the only nation in the world that lies completely above 1,000 meters in elevation. With an area of just 30,000 square kilometers, it is around the same size as Belgium and has a population of around 2 million. Today, we explore Northwest Lesotho, a small landlocked country surrounded entirely by South Africa. Welcome to Earth from Space. This composite image was created by combining three separate images from Copernicus Sentinel-2's near-infrared channel over a period of nine months. The first image, captured in November 2020, is assigned to the red channel and represents the onset of the wet summer season. The second, from March 2021, represents green and was captured towards the end of the wet season. The third, from August 2021, covers the blue part of the spectrum, captured during the short dry season. All other colors visible in the image are different mixtures of red, green and blue, and vary according to the stage of vegetation growth. A distinct pattern emerges due to topographical differences in this mountainous landscape, such as altitude and slope, which influence local water availability. Around 80% of the country's population lives in rural areas, and more than three quarters of these people are engaged in agriculture. The country's agricultural system faces a growing number of issues, including a small portion of the land deemed arable, as well as other climate-related vulnerabilities, such as drought, floods, and extreme temperatures occurring more frequently. Maseru, the capital and largest urban center of Lesotho, lies directly on the border with South Africa. The city is located on the left bank of the Caledon River, visible in black. The Copernicus Sentinel-2 mission is designed to provide images that can be used to distinguish between different crop types, as well as data on numerous plant indices, such as leaf area, leaf chlorophyll and leaf water. The mission's revisit time of just five days, along with the mission's range of spectral bands, mean that changes in plant health and growth can be more easily monitored. <laughs> 